alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. We welcome you ringside for a much anticipated bout. Let's set the table for you and get ready to dish up this big night of action. Roy Jones Jr.'s ring walk. Something special in the air. You can just sense it out of him. his ring walks have become the stuff of legend and you can see the intensity on his face fellas let's have a good clean fight touch him up and let's go opening round here scheduled for 12 wow was roy jones jr stunned right there i'm personally stunned he didn't go down but survive i think he will Be interested to see early on here how much an advantage there is with speed. Jones is full of it. He has blazing hands, Teddy. Can he keep it up all night long? I think he's going to have to. There's the headshot, but he parries it away. See, the defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. Halfway through this round here. Roy Jones Jr.'s knowledge of the game is showing through. Three ways to defend. One of them is to block. He did it there well. Look at that. The hook came home with ease. Jones is way off the mark. That punch didn't have a chance. Come on. It's Come on <laughs> Alvarez is almost looking foolish that time he missed so badly. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. Last 10 seconds of this first round. Keep your hands moving. Keep busy. We got to keep boxing just like that. You're breathing. You're going to take right. this. All we need is water up there, and that's it. You don't need that. No, throw that away. You need to move your head more, okay? Side to side. Lean to the side. Boom. Counter punch. So this round is underway, and what a difference a break makes for him. Look at how fresh he is to start this round after getting hit hard and rocked in that last round. What a difference a rush makes when the corner knows how to take advantage of that rest. They got water on him, they revived him, they massaged his legs a little bit, gave him some encouragement, 
Good to go. Get in there. Let's go. He's showing what a skilled fighter he is with the counter punches. Well, the old times used to say when you come in there, when you're in control in there, you can make him do what you want. He made him tie his shoelaces right there. Wow, a big flush blow, the left hand by Roy Jones. Halfway through round number two. You've used that description, stubborn, driven, single-minded focusedness for Roy Jones Jr. Alvarez is in a tough spot right now. Boy, he got rocked. Teddy, explain this to me. Hey, this fighter was just staggered and stunned. Now, all of a sudden, he's defending beautifully. Yeah, because he's on instincts now. Before he was thinking, he was overthinking. That happens out in life in a lot of places. And now, he's not. Now, just naturally, instinctively, survival mode is there. He's doing all the things, Joe, that he was taught in the gym. Things he couldn't do before because he was worried about doing them. He had too many things clogging his head. That right hand over the top lands flush. Look at this, another power punch able to land. We're early on in this fight, he's going for it. Yeah, you wonder if he's got a call waiting outside. Just 10 seconds to go here in the second round. So as that round ends, it gives us pause to realize what has just taken place. And that is, we have one man who just separated himself from the other. He was able to stun his opponent, and you got to think good things are coming. Well, they've been coming for a while because I really think that those punches are a benefit from a couple rounds ago. He's been hitting with a lot of punches, and I think it's starting to take its toll, and you saw it there. Relaxed. You're in control, all right? Alvarez is fine. I'm looking at him starting this round right now, coming off a round where he was rocked, and I'm telling you, he looks perfectly good. He just missed that shot up top. Not much action as he just ties up. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. Come on, kid. Focus. Reaching the halfway mark of the Roy Jones Jr. crushed by a big right hand. That's a big uppercut that just crashed home. You got this one, two, one, two. Jones has got a way of just getting away from that punch. Able to get rid of that one. Ten seconds to go in this third round. Open. Turkley, Turkley, don't stand in front of it. We got it. This, uh, I'm not gonna stand here and, and uh, watch you take oh, those shots. You understand me? Let's yeah, see more that. deep. His room, okay? Don't fight his fight. There's no need to fight his style. Good. 
Jones is up around here after three rounds on Teddy's scorecard, but really nobody has distinguished themselves to any great amount so far. Still not moving enough. Ooh. He needs to improve the accuracy a little bit. That was comical by Roy Jones. Good right hand. You're doing great. And oh, what a good strong uppercut by Alvarez. Teddy, you can try to put a label on Roy Jones Jr., but I don't know that you can necessarily classify him as any one style of boxing. No, he's a guy that breaks the rule book. He would drive traditional trainers batsy. I mean, it really, they would get nuts because he does everything you're not supposed to do. He pulls back from punches instead of slipping them. He drops his hands instead of keeping his hands up. He dares you to make a mistake, and he dares you to catch him while he's making mistakes. If there's ever a guy that you could compare him to, I would say a little bit to Muhammad Ali. And Muhammad Ali was the engineer. He was the pioneer of making wrong right. Scores up top with a left. Good flush shot by Roy Jones. Committing to the work downstairs with the left. That was a left hand that came raining in on him. He does not look good right now. Expecting the clinch. Relax, relax. Take a deep breath. I need you to focus. Anticipate his punches, okay? He seems fully recovered to me. Here we are, the start of a new round, and a fighter that got tagged hard in the last round seems as fresh as could be. Well, when you push a fighter, when you push a human being to a dark place, that's when you're going to find out what's bright inside of them, what's great inside of them. And he's responding just that way. He's throwing a lot of punches here. Now, his opponent is showing very, very good movement. What adjustments can he make to deal with that movement? Well, Joe, when you're fighting a guy who's smart, who's hard to hit, first of all, you got to shorten those punches up. If they're wide, they have no chance at all. And you got to go to the one place Where's that's not moving. Guess where that is? Downstairs. That's it. Missed the target with that hook. Come on, By Ricardo Alvarez, struck by a huge hook to the head. Still plenty of time to work here in round number five. A minute and a half. Jones is scored upon by a left hand. Well, he may be in bad shape, but all of a sudden, all of a sudden, he's able to avoid punches and survive. You know, boxing is a funny business. It's a Move. metaphor for life. You know, sometimes you have somebody outside, and they don't say... Roy Jones Jr.'s hurt bad by a right hand. So Roy is tagged there, and he's tying up. You know, Roy loves to develop scenarios offensively, create right in front of you. Well, guess what? He's got to create a defensive scenario right now to get through this moment. And clicks of the talk. Alvarez is left, landing well. End of the round, and he's had better rounds in the fight than the one we just saw, but still, it's very much there for the taking. 
Yeah, whoever finishes up strongly in the late parts of these rounds, a lot of times, you know, the judges get mesmerized a little bit here too. You know, it's a real close fight, and you kind of forgot where the separation was. And whoever grabs the last part of the round, that's who you remember. It's very important in this kind of fight, finish up good at the end of the round. Well, he got caught by a lucky punch in that last round. It did do some damage, but now you can tell on, he's right over. back where he wants to be, fresh and ready as we start this round. I don't take lightly when a guy gets dropped, but you know what? I think he was more embarrassed than he was hurt. Jones is keeping his guard up very, very well. Teddy, does it help to have the speed that he has? Uh, sure. Anytime you have speed and you can put it into the equation where whatever you're doing, it has to be technically right, but now you put speed, you're doing it even better. You're doing it at a higher level. Not able to land the headshot. Halfway through this round. Boxing 101, jab, followed by the straight. Right to the body. And he's holding. And he clinches yet again. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Alvarez. Nice! And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Good way to protect the midsection. Just 10 seconds to go in this round. Roy Jones Jr. is having a masterful round defensively. I love what we're seeing from the footwork with him. Very good movement, sound defensively. Is there anything he should be considering adding to that arsenal, though, right now? Well, he's got to find spots for offense. You know, he's making his opponent miss. He's getting them off bounds. He's frustrating them a little bit. You know, pop at the right time. You know, let it fly a little bit in the right spots. You keep your guy off balance. When you got him off balance, you make him miss, make him pay. And we are underway for what is the second half of this fight. Who knows what we're in store for? Good shot to the head with that right hand. See him holding on. <laughs> Crashes home with the uppercut. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Move your head. Teddy, there are opportunities that are here for him, aren't there? Yeah, counterpunch opportunities because he's got an opponent who's walking in a little bit. Now he has a chance to start to chuck something back at him a little. <laughs> Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Chopping a little wood with that hook. And he ties up on the inside. Finish with the hook. Roy Jones Jr.'s tagged by a right hand. A 
freight train uppercut by Alvarez. And this round comes to an end. <laughs> keep your hands up, all right? You have to keep your hands up. There you go. It's over. He's tired. He's got nothing left, okay? Just go for the head. Knock him out. It's done. I'm always interested in how a fighter's disposition can change during the course of a fight. And as we start round number eight here, you see that he is up. But all it takes is a little momentum to build against him, and this thing could turn around. Well, the real testing of a fighter, the real testing of a professional is what they can do late. Can they keep it up, or do they become satisfied? We're going to find out right now how this guy is in those areas. Roy Jones Jr. is making this so that it's becoming a very frustrating night for his opponent. I mean, when your defense is that sharp, it can just drive your opponent crazy. Yeah, it can. First of all, it can start to break down. You know, we always look at the physical things in life and anything. You know, you, you're pounding a guy and you're going to break the guy down. Hey, if you're just smart and you're slick like this guy and you're making a guy miss, you start to break him down. He's breaking the guy down that way. He's committing to the work downstairs. He puts forth a right hand. The halfway point of round number eight. Unable to connect by Alvarez. He clinches when he gets to the inside. A well-placed left hand up top. Get in there, let's go. And now he's targeting upstairs. I want to see some combo. Pace yourself. Step him up. That's it. That's what oh, I like the way he went to the body with that hook. Last 10 seconds of the eighth round. This has been a very entertaining fight. A little time to reflect here at the end of this round. My thoughts being this. I would really be surprised if we go to a decision here. It just has that kind of feel to it. Yeah, it has a feel to me like going to one of those places where you can eat all the pasta you can for one price, you know? And some guys get carried away. They eat about five bowls. Well, these guys, they're gonna have a stomach ache at the end. Somebody is gonna wind up not standing at the end. There you go. Another round, and if it keeps up with the rest of them, it'll be closely contested and hard to score. Good block there by Alvarez. And yet another big shot comes in. Oh, he goes down hard. And now he's got a real problem ahead of him. Plenty of time for his opponent to jump on him. One, two, three, four, five. So he goes down for the first time, but you can just get a sense that he's going to be OK. It doesn't look like he's that damaged. No, exactly, Joe. That was just a brush fire. But he doesn't want it to become a forest fire. So he's got to think in his head, why did I get caught? Just not there, straight right hand off the mark. 90 seconds into the ninth round. Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. Jones is swinging and missing like he's at bat right there. That punch was nowhere near his opponent. 
Why is his opponent struggling so much here? Why can he not land a clean headshot? Well, one reason is his opponent is moving his head. He's doing a good job of being elusive, but there's no change. He's just throwing straight, naked punches at him. He needs to make a little adjustment, a little adaptation. He needs to feint a little bit, get a false movement, get him out of position, get him off balance. And then by Ricardo Alvarez, tagged. Momentum has shifted. Just sniping up with that uppercut. Ricardo Alvarez is. And that's the end of round nine. Jones's defense is going to need to shine when he gets back out there. I mean, just look at the close-up of that cut we're seeing. Yeah, he's got to use his legs. You're right, Joe. He's got to get out there and buy some time for those medicines to work. Throw. Throw punches, okay? Don't walk into him without throwing a punch. Good, good. Nice work. Listen, I want you to go downstairs, then upstairs, okay? Alvarez has recovered nicely here. The start of this round, and he is proving to me at least that what happened in that last round is having no effect on this round. Scored well up top. Keep moving. Alvarez's defense, is it ever good? Look at how easy he's able to block those punches. Nice. Jones's punch is far off the target. And out of nowhere, things can turn like that, Teddy. Everything was looking good, now it's looking bad for him. Well, that's exactly why, because nothing was coming at him. His opponent wasn't throwing back. He got a little lax, and he paid a price. I'm cut. You're still not moving enough. Boo, boo. Roy Jones Jr.'s tagged by a huge hit. Oh, he is stuck. He could... What a big shot. Can he get up from this? He's done it before, but can he get up from a second time down? Jones Jr. is unable to get up and continue on. I don't know why we're always so shocked, but we just are. You'd think we'd learn by now that anything can happen. Here's a fight that is clearly heading to a decision, and just like that, it's over by knockout. Yeah, you need to go to sleep, take a sleeping pill, or do that. Stick your chin out, bang. I'm Joe Tessitore for Teddy Atlas saying thanks for being with us, and enjoy the rest of your night.